All right, pop quiz time. In red wine, what does the skin provide? Tannins, which provide texture, that drying sensation, and color. This is gonna be really important to remember as we go through the red wine making process. So just like in our white wines in the last video, the first step after red wine grapes are harvested is called crush. This is when the first juices from the bulk pulp are first released from the grape. But unlike white wine, the juices and the skins are gonna to stay together and move on to the fermentation process together. This is important to remember because it's during that fermentation process that those grape skins are gonna impart the color and the tannin into the juices. And you'll often see winemakers stirring the fermentation liquid to make sure that the color and the tannins are incorporated into the whole of the wine. Once fermentation is complete, the wine then moves on to the press. And this is where the wine will finally be separated from its skins. From here, wine will then age or mature in either a stainless steel tank or oak barrel. This depends on what the winemaker wants to do. Once wine has aged in either its stainless steel or oak, the wine then moves on to be packaged, typically in those 750 milliliter glass bottles, and then sold to us to enjoy. So to recap, True or false, red wine ferments with the skins. True. And do you remember why? To impart the tannins and the color.